And now we're behind the scenes of the veg truck here at Dodson Eater for the strawberries. Look, they're so cute. They haven't bloomed yet, but they will. And don't pick the flower because the flower actually becomes the berry. I'm thinking strawberry shortcake. It could be so yummy. All right, stay tuned for more behind the scenes, that's right, of our veg truck here at Dodson Eater. Today, Live It Up is in Oyster Bay, New York, and I am at Dodds and Eater. Norma is gonna be teaching us how to do an above ground garden. What did we plant here in this big uh, veg truck? In this large one, in this veg truck, we have peppers, we've got tomatoes, and there's eggplants here also. Okay. Um, and all in the front is lettuce, different types of lettuce. So what's beautiful about the veg truck is that it's great for small places, small areas. If you don't have a large area to plant a garden, this is a perfect little nook that you could put this into. As long as you have a lot of sun, it goes right into the sunny area. It's great because you don't have to bend down. You don't have to kneel. It's all above. You're standing at, it's right at your waist level. It's very easy and carefree for a person who doesn't want to have a, a huge garden. As you can see, we're getting a lot of, of uh, fruit out of all of these, these um, these plants they're That's doing beautiful. very well Thank now, you. now the reason that it's doing beautiful I guess is because you're, you're a caretaker so you obviously have to like water them you have to give them TLC but also the soil and compost is important how did you start out when it was just an empty like vessel the veg truck comes and there's a liner that comes with the veg truck so we filled it with a professional uh, potting mix and compost it's very important to start with very very good soil again the potting mix the professional potting mix and the compost helps to retain the moisture uh, uh, slowly, slowly release all the nutrients and the minerals into the soil. It's very important to have a very good soil to start with. Now the plantings I was, uh, you were explaining to me are all uh, annuals. Now, so they don't come back year after year after year. But could you retain the soil so that after this vegetable garden is done this year, could you like use the soil over again? Uh, it, it's best to start with new soil because as the plants are growing, they're depleting the soil of all the nutrients. So it, next year, maybe you wanna just take half of it and replenish it with fresh soil. Because again, it's going to be very depleted of nutrients. So again, it, it's better to start with fresh soil every year. Okay, okay? very good to know. Um, what other tips uh, of the trade? You know, how do you know like when to, to pick a tomato? Like, and, and do you twist it off? Like, uh, obviously these aren't red yet, so you can't pick them yet. Right, the tomatoes will just naturally come off once they're red, you'll see they're the, the, the nice size. These are not just, these are not very large tomatoes. It's about a, a smaller size, but um, you can see just about when it's nice and rep, ripe. Um, you don't want it to overripe on the vine or else it'll get too mushy. Same with the peppers and the eggplants, you'll see that they'll be a nice size and ready to pick. And that you could just slowly twist them off the vine or you can take a little clipper and gently pick them off, <laughs> not to disturb them. Now, what got you involved in gardening? When did you oh start God. planting? Oh my God, my dad was a caretaker on an estate up in Sands Point for years and I spent every summer with him and planting like and learn. mowing <laughs> grass and <laughs> driving a tractor, yeah. Oh. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes. And as an adult, that's what you became, a yes. visual designer and an expert yes. gardener. Yes, that's me. Okay, very cool. And what did you put in this veg truck? This, this one's a little here. slightly smaller, it's right? Like two-thirds the size, I guess? Yeah, Just it's about, about a, a third um, compared to that one. This, I did all herbs in here. Oh, okay. So this is a small herb garden. So we've got parsley and basil and oregano and sage. Again, these are all taken off. We planted these early in May. So this is what it's looking like now. It's And it's just ready to pick. And as we cook around here everybody just picks a little bit that's what I was gonna ask you okay so like what's what what is this one that this is like, cilantro okay that's cilantro and that's you don't eat mother. the flowers but you eat this piece and You're that can make like guacamole right uh, you can add the cilantro to the guacamole sure okay. <laughs> there's oregano here obviously for all the um, Italian cooking the basil and the parsley this is curly parsley more for for um, ornamentation decorating you don't really need to cook too much with the with the curly parsley there's chives back there um, there's thyme is, what is this? This looks like lamb's ear, but it's, it's not. What it's is that? Sage. Okay. It's sage. It's so. sage. <laughs> Doesn't it look a little bit like lamb? Oh, very the much. Very much. Right. The texture and the color of the leaf. Absolutely. The same, the same very family. good. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Um, okay. And basil. Same thing. You could just like cut this up and like right off chiffero the, and stick exactly, it into something. Exactly. What's going on here actually with my my cilantro is not really good. You really don't want to let the herbs go to to flower. Okay. They're starting to seed. So what do you do? You just so like just pinch pick them, them back. Yeah. We just need to pinch them back. Okay. And it'll force this side of the, uh, the the core of the plant to fill up a little bit and give you more of the leaf. That's what you're actually using to cook with. Great. And uh, suggestions on spacing, because I see that you have everything kind of like spaced correctly. How do you know what does better where? Um, I put most of like the uh, the thyme and the oregano are trailers. So they're going over the edge. 
my basil, parsley, cilantro, they're thickening. So I put them in the center just to get that big thickness here. There's a ladybug, Norma, look, there's a ladybug. That brings good luck. That's good luck and, <laughs> and it eats the aphids. They eat all the bad bugs, which okay. is good. Which is very does it good come? Does it come with a ladybug? Or, yeah. um, actually, we sell ladybugs here. Okay, <laughs> and we let them loose the other day. So, uh, oh, there you go. So they're, they're doing their predator. thing. Doing their thing. Absolutely. Excellent. Absolutely. Um, and same thing here. Like, you can just pick this right out, off and eat it? This is lettuce. Again, we, we put all the larger plants in the center because the trug tapers down. So all the deep roots are going into the center. And it's a little more shallow on the edges. So we put all the uh, lettuce Excellent. right on the side. And again, just pick and pick and it'll just continue to bloom more and more, uh, leaf out more and more, and you'll have salad for a while. Oh, that's so nice. And on the other side, I know you can't see it, but we have strawberries growing on the other you side. You have strawberries? There's strawberries. Oh! There's nothing oh, there Oh, I see yet. what they're I do. There. I see them. I but see they're them. coming. They're okay. coming. And now that is where you don't want to pick off the flower, right? Because the flower exactly. actually becomes the berry. Absolutely correct. There you go. Correct. And so if anybody has any questions, they could actually come here, and you could kind of guide them through how to plant one of these and Absolutely. how to make their garden beautiful. Absolutely. And they can see how, how well it works, how, how you can have a, a, a beautiful garden without a lot of space. Yeah, and, and especially times, you know, if somebody's in a wheelchair or for some reason Absolutely. they've got back problems and they used to love to garden, this really brings back the Absolutely. love of gardening back to them. Exactly. It's great for everyone, so. Great. Thank okay. you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you for coming. Yay! Dodson Eater right here at Oyster Bay, New York. Stay tuned for more on Live It Up.